The Power of Azure Rattalos Bow This is a leak stats of the bow in Japanese as well as mhnow.cc leak stats of the armor where the helm gives focus to at grade 6. Typically, leaks from Taiwan or Japan sources right, tend to have a better track record of accuracy. And just recently, we can also validate it back to another source, which is MHN Quest. This source has an excellent track record of accuracy, as some of all the past leaks from Xenoga as well as new weapons, they are all accurate. Hence, we can say with a high certainty that the screenshot in Japanese is accurate. However, nothing is confirmed as of now. So just a disclaimer, the stats, calculation, numbers derived are based on assumptions that these information are accurate. Whatever I'm going to share with you it seems boring and dry for some people because we are going deep into the math and numbers to calculate which is better. If you are not into numbers and math, please move on to other channels because I'm afraid I'm going to bore you too much. For the rest are still keen, stay on and let's find out. So in this screenshot, what grading is this weapon exactly? Let's refer back to MHN and you will realize it is actually grade 10-5 instead of grade 10-1 which some YouTubers have assumed due to the side-by-side -side comparison in that screenshot. Same goes to the Taiwan source that the helm is focused to. Just slight difference is that MHN quest the weapon is special boost instead of big performance. For this video content, we will rely on MHN quest data since as far as I know, it is the best unofficial Monster Hunter Now data mining platform that gives accurate information thus far, where all the presented data tends to be validated by testing. So now, how strong is Azure Bow compared to other bows? Let's look at the paper DPS of the bow. If you look at this comparison, it might seem very mediocre. To translate into line chart, it is something like that. How do we get from this to this? We can see that the paper DPS of both the Black Diablo Bow or the Azure Rattalos Bow are indeed lower than Rattalos Bow of 2883 damage. However, after computing the real effective DPS, you will notice that both Black Diablo Bow and Azure Rattalos Bow overtook Rattalos Bow significantly. What caused the differences in value? Because we totally missed out two important variables in our computation for the paper DPS. Number one, two blinks DPS buff compared to 3 blinks DPS. Number 2, Motion DPS Multiplier. Credits to Joseph from SGMHN Telegram Group for this info. This data are further verified by me, Alpha Smurf. 2 blinks DPS buff is the additional damage we will add on to our calculation by comparing to a typical 3 blinks DPS bow. If we look close enough, Azure Rattalos Bow only needs 2 blinks to activate level 4 Rapid Shot. This is similar to Black Diablo Bow which only needs 2 blinks to activate level 4 Pierce Shot. This means we are able to land more shots on the monster in the same 75 seconds battle period. So how much exactly is this buff? Is it just 33%? like the simple math of reducing one third of the whole battle timing? Think twice. It is not that simple because we haven't accounted for human time error, attack animation, excluding the charging time. All in all, the best way to know the exact figure is to run actual test runs and calculate accordingly. Looking at this spreadsheet, 
this is our time run for all the different focus levels. We kind of simulate a typical fight by running multiple 75 seconds test run with side steps. Kind of simulating a typical fight where we do some dodging along the way. Of course, this method of recording might not be the best way as it differs based on different hunters. However, it is the closest simulation to get the most reliable data in a typical fight involving movement. We will run a full 20 shots, the charge plus power shot, recording a time taken from T0 to the 21st T0. T0 is the first visible radical when charging a shot. Refer to attack animation time breakdown later. We do the same for 20 shots. The test run for all the focus level, two blinks and three blinks. Based on these test runs, we compute apple to apple the same focus level two blinks test runs versus the same focus level three blinks test run, and we average the results to get a value of 25.08%. Meaning to say, Black Diablo Bull and Azure Rattalos Bull, their effective damage has to be marked up by 25.08%. Just like this. What about motion DPS multiplier? What is this? This is to account for the different types of shots. Pierce, spread, rapid, which have different damage mechanics. In short, Pierce level 4, there will be a total of 6 hits for the first shot, and a power shot subsequently will deal another 6 hits. This is the same for spread shots. However, Rapid is 4 hits instead of 6 hits. So a total of 8 hits for Rapid for both the normal shot and the power shot. This means that in a perfect scenario where all the shots land on a weak spot in an optimal effective range, then you'll notice that Pierce damage dealt the most damage. However, it's impossible to have all the pierce and spread shots to land on weak spots in a typical run. Hence, using a scenario of a Jagra stomach as an assumed test parameter, with 140% on the stomach and 70% on the body, and using the post nerf scenario, it means around like 140% damage on the stomach and 53% damage on the body. We will deal around 37.5% damage if the arrow were to land on the non-weak spot. Let's validate the numbers. As you can see, doing some math is indeed 37.5% damage. Typically for Pierce, 6 shots on a Jagra stomach, only 4 will be on weak spots and 2 will be white numbers. However, for other runs, with proper aiming at zones like on the wings, all can be landed on weak spot. We will take a conservative number of 4 out of 6 shots we will land on weak spots for our calculation purposes. Even with such conservative numbers, pierce damage type still yield the maximum damage. So giving the lowest damage spread an arbitrary number of 1 damage, we have pierce damage to be 1.189 dps spread to be 1 dps and rapid to be 1.07 dps which means rapid is 7% more damage than spread and pierce is 18.9% more damage than spread having said that these adjustments are added in our paper dps computation just like this at this moment you must be thinking that azure rattalos bow has the highest damage however we are not comparing apple to apple we are comparing Black Diablo Bow raw damage output against the Elemental Bow versus their weak type monster. Even in such disadvantage comparison, Black Diablo Bow is just slightly weaker as compared to Azure Rattalus Bow. What if we were to compare this bow in a scenario of fighting against their non weak Elemental type monster? It will be like this. As you can see, Black Diablo Bow wins all of them hands down. Yes, we know Azure Rattalos Bow has a raw damage that is very high. 
In fact, it's even higher than normal Diablo Bow. However, to compare it with Black Diablo Bow, it's just like racing your tricycle against a Ferrari. Clearly a joke with no competition. Unless we are up against certain monster, the likes of like Kuluyaku and Tobi Kadashi that like to close up during battles, then that will be a different subject matter as the effective DPS will be computed differently depending on the skill of the hunter about how they are able to maintain optimal attack range. But all things stay status quo. With the hunter ability to maintain optimal attack range, then Black Diablo Bow has clearly no competition. Thus far, we have only been comparing the bow damage without incorporating the armor skills like focus, burst, elemental damage. If we were to include this, we will notice that even against weak fire monster, Black Diablo Bow is still the highest DPS bow as long as it is grade 10-1 and above. The reason for this phenomenon is that raw damage catching up at higher grade is due to the diminishing return of additional elemental damage. Damage get amplified more on raw damage portion through the multiplicative skills like burst and weakness exploit. Since elemental damage will not get amplified by skills like burst or heroic, the raw damage prevails. In conclusion, Black Diablo Bow is still the best bow in the game as long as it is grade 10-1 and above. However, if you do not have Black Diablo Bow at such a high grade, then yes, Azure Rattalos Bow is indeed better to use against weak fire monster than Black Diablo Bow at any level that's below grade 10-1. Feel free to leave your comments if you have any opinions. Remember to subscribe if you like such content as we have yet to talk about other games mechanics like heroic damage and part breaker techniques. I will see you guys real soon.